This video explains the operation, analysis and design of a dual slope analog to digital converter. A dual slope analog to digital converter is a classical example of mixed signal processing system. Depending on the type of signal processed by a block, the block diagram of dual slope analog to digital converter can be divided into two sections, an analog section and a digital section. The analog section consists of single pole double throw switch controlled by a digital signal, an integrator and a comparator. The digital section consists of a clock source, getting logic, counter, resistors, display and the switching logic. At the start of every conversion, the switching logic connects VN to the input of integrator. With Vn positive, the output of integrator rises in negative direction. With Vn negative, the output of integrator rises from zero in positive direction. The output of comparator becomes high and the clock passes through the getting logic and is counted by the counters. Note that the counters start counting from zero. After a time t equal to capital T, the count in counter overflows and the switching logic switches the input of integrator from V in to V ref. At this time, the output of integrator starts to fall from its value at t is equal to capital T in the negative direction. When the output of integrator crosses zero, the output of comparator changes from high to low. This prevents the clock from passing through the getting logic and stops the counting operation. At this time, the switching logic generates two pulses, one of which copies the count in counter to resistors and the second pulse is used to turn on the switch connected across the capacitor in integrator. At the end of this pulse, another pulse is generated by the switching logic which resets the counter and starts the next conversion cycle. Consider the circuit diagram of dual slope analog to digital converter. The single pole double throw switch is implemented by using 4016 and 7404. The integrator is implemented using 741 operational amplifier and the comparator is implemented using 741 operational amplifier. The gating logic consists of 7408. and the counting section is implemented using 7490 decade counters. In case of a three digit dual slope analog to digital converter, there are three decade counters. In case of three and half digit dual slope analog to digital converter, there are three decade counters and one T flip flop. 
the switching logic consists of T flip flops and seven four one two three. Since the output of integrator is given by the equation V O of T is equal to minus one upon R C integration zero to T V I D to plus V of zero. At the start of conversion cycle, the output of integrator that is V of zero is equal to zero and the input to integrator that is V I is equal to capital V N. This input is integrated from time t is equal to 0 to t is equal to capital T. Therefore, the output of integrator at time t is equal to capital T is Vivo of t is equal to minus V n into capital T divided by R c. At time t is equal to capital T, the switching logic switches the input of integrator from V in to V ref. So the output of integrator at time t is equal to capital T is V of 0. Substituting the value of V of 0 and V i in the equation for output voltage of integrator, V o of t is equal to minus V ref into small t divided by R c minus V n into capital T divided by R c. Solving for V o of t is equal to 0, V ref into small t divided by R c is equal to minus V in into capital T divided by R C. Therefore, V ref upon capital T is equal to minus V in upon small t. Note that the polarity of reference voltage and input voltage in case of dual slope analog to digital converter is opposite. In order to design the integrator, it is required to satisfy the condition V O of capital T should be less than V set. That is minus V in into capital T divided by R C should be less than V set. Now this is the reflection point. So pause the video and try to answer the question. What is the resolution of a three and half digit DVM? that is digital voltmeter which can measure input voltage from 0 volt to 2 volt. Let me tell you the answer for this question. In case of 3 and half digit digital voltmeter, the maximum value which can be displayed on the display is 1000 999 and this corresponds to 2 hold in case of a 2 hold digital hold meter. So the resolution of a 2 hold DVM with 3.5 digit display is 1 millivolt. In order to understand the design of three and half digit digital voltmeter, 
Let us take an example. Some of the design specifications associated with dual slope analog to digital converter are maximum input voltage that is V in max. For this example, V in max is equal to 2 volt and the measurement cycles per second or the sampling frequency Fs which is equal to 25 hertz. The step, the first step in design of this dual slope analog to di digital converter is to find the measurement interval Ts which is equal to 1 upon Fs and is equal to 1 upon 25. In this case, it is equal to 40 millisecond. The second step is to find the duration for which V in is integrated and this is equal to capital T which is equal to capital TS divided by 2. For this example, this is equal to 40 milliseconds divided by 2 that is 20 milliseconds. The third step is to find the duration for which VREF is integrated and this is equal to T max which is equal to capital T divided by 2. For this example, it is 20 millisecond divided by 2 that is 10 millisecond. In case of dual slope analog to digital converter, VREF is equal to minus V in max into capital T divided by T max. So this is equal to minus 2 into 20 milliseconds divided by 10 milliseconds which is equal to minus 4. The last step in design of this digital voltmeter is to find the clock frequency. F clock is equal to N divided by T max. For 3 and half digit display, N is equal to 2000. So, F clock is equal to 2000 divided by 10 millisecond, which is equal to 200 kilohertz. The books which were referred for creating this video are Design with Operational Amplifier and Analog Integrated Circuit by Sergio Franco, Modern Digital Electronics by R.P. Jain, and Introduction to System Design Using Integrated Circuit by B.S. Songdee.